What is going on, Governor? It's G-School here, and today we're getting ready for Ark of Osiris, and to do that, we pump up a bunch of commanders. We're going to expertise Isong Ye. That's right, my friends. We have exactly enough sculptures to finish off the last skill. Really good timing uh, right before Ark of Osiris for us, and so we're going to knock that out, and we're going to show a couple things in this video. We're going to show you hitting a level 25 barb, before the expertise skill, after the expertise skill, and then we're just going to show you the insane AoE madness because, oh baby, this circle area of effect is bananas. If you like videos where we max out commanders, and we've done this a couple times now, you should definitely like and subscribe because we are a sponsored creator with Rise of Kingdoms, and we're pretty obsessed with powering up our commanders, evidenced by where we're at so far. Okay. So let's get the party started. First thing we need to do is hit some barbs. And we'll use Lohar as the primary. Let's see if we can find a 25 real quick. We're going to bring less than. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, two side by side. They really both need to be in Alliance territory, but whatever. We're going to bring Lohar as the primary because he doesn't care about what troop type we bring. And then he also is going to get a lot of skill attacks, which is pretty sweet. Let's make it. A low number of archers. What about, like, I don't know, 75,000? It'll be neck and neck. That's good. Let's do this. Boom. Fire it off. So I'm going to cut the footage here, and we'll be right back when we're smashing the level 25. We're going to record the report and compare to the before and the after. So let's see how this looks. Then we'll expertise it. And then we're going to smash. All right, Lohar's coming in hot. 75,000 archers. I'm saying that mostly so I remember to bring the right amount the next time around. Hopefully this other group of barbarians doesn't wander into the area of effect, which might happen, which is going to completely ruin this round of testing. Um, and that's part of the magic of Yisong Ye is when he does area of effect damage, boom, everybody that gets hit gets pulled into the combat. And I'm referring to barbarians specifically. Anyways, we've got this going. Look at that, 8,000 damage, even though... By the way, even though we only got 75,000 archers. You gotta be kidding me. That's like nothing. How much would max archers be? Well, we'll show that too. Oh no. Don't wander in. It's gonna spoil the test. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh geez. Is it gonna hit him? No. Woo! Right on the edge. Right on the edge of being aggroed. We got this. I mean, we could do way less than 75,000. Oh no. Come on. Now it's going to ruin the test, right? That's got to be in range. And? Oh, well, okay. We finished the combat. Yeah, that totally is going to ruin the test. I should have kept running. Instead of having him turn and fight to get value. Darn it. Because we didn't get the report in. <laughs> so that's how AOE works, pulling in extra things. That's how that works. Maybe we'll be able to see how many we had severely wounded for the first one and then for the second one. That's probably going to be a thing, right? You can see here the rage tanking going on is really, really strong and generating tons of rage. Yi Song Ye also accelerates that engine because his second skill gives you 100 rage, 10% chance that that hits, in addition to boosting the archer damage, which is a really big deal. It's a part of how you see some really monster hits coming out of Yi Song Ye. Um, but... Good news is we're about to wrap this up, and in a second, we'll get to see what the report looks like for our before. Before expertise. There it is. Hopefully, this slices it up nicely so we can see. And I think it did. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So we had 106 severely wounded units pre-expertise. Pre-expertise. 106 severely wounded units now we'll send this guy back we can go in and unlock that sweet sweet expertise skill we're going to use literally every sculpture we've got to pull this off every sculpture we've got all right here it is unlocking the expertise skill on isong Ye. Feels like a pretty sweet accomplishment. Let's smash the upgrade button. Oh, wait, that's not the expertise skill. <laughs> Whatever, that's garrison skill. I feel good about the garrison. I feel great about the garrison. 
Okay, now. Now when we tap the button in the center, we'll unlock the expertise skill. By the way, when I was defending a structure um, during a war, I like powered up my um, Sun Tzu and almost forgot to like actually hit the expertise skill to unlock it, which seems silly, but you actually have to smash the button. Let's do it. Yeah. Arrow Storm. So now we're up from 1400 damage factor to 1700 damage factor, and it hits in a circle. And that circle is just insane. So there's two tests we need to run. There's two tests we need to run. Ah, uh, the glory. The glory. Now we need to hit a 25 barb. We need to find a 25 barb, and we'll cut to that. And we need to find a cluster of barbs, which is going to be hard, because right now we've got a clarion call event, and people are going completely ham. Okay, maybe that was less hard than I thought. First order of business... First order of business, once Lohar gets back to town, I'm going to attack this cluster. I'm going to find a different cluster, and we'll cut to it. And, like, you're going to see we're going to aggro, like, everything in sight. It's going to be freaking sweet. This is going to be so good. I can hardly contain myself. We will be right back. All right. We've got 75,000 archers. They are closing in on a level 25 barbarian. To give us a sense of, you know, the before and the after. We had 106,000 severely injured units. And now, what's that going to look like? The damage should be higher. We observed an 8,000 hit previously and 6,000. So what's going on there is that previously that 8,000 hit, we must have had that proc from the archers getting 100% extra damage, which is why it was so darn high. Can you imagine if it had been the seven? 1800 base then i don't even know in the meantime it's worth calling out the fact that you can see that huge area of effect that gets hit look at that huge area that gets hit by this aoe <laughs> oh this is gonna be fun this is gonna be so fun okay so maybe comparing is gonna be kind of hard because there is a percentage based attack and like we gotta hit these we so have to hit these. Which one do I hit? Maybe this one. OMG, OMG. This is... <laughs> oh, no. Don't run away. Don't run away. Oh, maybe they're going to the same way. Oh, we'll get, we'll get a sense of what the range is like. We'll get a sense of what the range is like. This, this, could, be, this could be incredible, or it could be a little lackluster. Because like, I think this guy's out of range. This guy's definitely in range. This guy, oh, he's walking in. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready for the boom? Are you ready for the boom? Dude, just like we rehearsed, barbarians, line up. Boom. <laughs> and boom. Rage tanking, going him 11,000. This is only 75,000 archers. Boom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isung Ye is possibly one of the most fun commanders and when we kill all these armies do we get healed every time oh gotta park my troops so you saw that i had to park the troops otherwise they would just retreat um maybe the combat has to end let's see if i get healed multiple times or not boom only once so the combat had to end let's do that again that was that was sweet Let's see here. I just I'm just gonna just gonna share this with my alliance members. So they can see this. Look at this madness. And because I have Lohar, I'm like, I don't have to go back to town ever. I don't feel like it. <laughs> oh man! Okay, we gotta do this again with full archers. That's that is so much damage. That is so much damage. Oh my gosh! We have the special archer unit too, which really helps out. That helps out a lot. Look at that circle AOE glory. Oh my goodness. Okay, this this is too fun. This is my new favorite commander, hands down. And and put him on the wall. Oh, he's not on the wall because. He's out of town. Whatever. He's my secondary commander on the wall now. Um, because Martell is going to elevate the damage even more. And then, boom, you get that archer hit. And it covers me against a swarm completely. Like, you cannot be around my city 
Like you just get wrecked. So that seems good to me. Let's compare the report. Uh, I got to find the 25. Here's the 25. Um, 99. All right. So we went from 106,000 severely wounded to 99. Sever Wait, 106,000? What did I say? 106 severely wounded to 99 severely wounded, which is fine, right? This is directionally an improvement. Um, it's not life-changing, but it's, I don't know, like a little under 10% better, which makes sense, right? Like that, that makes sense. So let's do this. We're going to run back to town. We're going to fill up with full archers. And I mean, let's go find a pack. Okay, we found a pack. We've got Lohar on the way. These guys have been standing so nice and still for me. They're just like lining this up perfectly. This could not be any better. Now, if you're going at a pack like this, you want to target probably the 25 as the primary thing you hit, like the higher level barbarian, um, because, oh, now they're all moving at the same time. That looks okay, though. You want to target the higher level one so you can get off lots of skill attacks with the action points you've spent so that potentially more barbarians could walk into wherever you are, uh, pulling them into your combat. But in only 15 seconds from now, we're going to aggro, hopefully, all three of these, which is a pretty sweet display of this fully operational battle station. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the talents that we might use with Song Ye if you use him as the primary and the combination I'm planning to use him in, in the Ark of Osiris. Here we go. Lohar saying, boom, take some heat and massive AOE effect. Oh, I forgot to link to my Alliance members. I wanted to show them. Boom. There it is. There it is. AOE again. 22,000. What? Oh my gosh, that AoE is insane. Oh, got to park. Forgot to park. Boom. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool. Ooh, here we go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. If this part of the video is not as exciting for you, just, just speed this up. Maybe I'll speed this up. I'll speed this up. It'll go real fast. Oh my goodness. Look at all these 20s. Look at all these 20s we're going to hit. <laughs> Uh, come on, Lohar. Let's go, let's go. Before they move. Here we go. In combat. Oh, no, he's running away. And the AoE coming up. There's the hit. Oh, one might be out of the range. Yeah, one's out of the range. All right. Still, though, like, that's kind of amazing. Oh, so much damage. Let's park the troops. If that guy walked down instead of up, he totally would have been included. So we picked up a level 20 for free. Not bad. Not bad. Let's send these guys back home. And um, let's do this. Let's talk about talents a little bit. And let's talk about pairings. Me personally, I'm going to be using Isong Ye with Hannibal Barca. Why would I use Hannibal Barca? Because I've got him expertise. His AoE hits three targets, reduces their armor. Can you imagine? So all their armor's lowered, and then Isong Ye is just going to smash them with those arrows. Just unbelievable damage could result from that. I love this pairing. I love this pairing more than I like other potential pairings. For instance, more than I like the pairing with Julius Caesar. I love that Julius Caesar elevates the damage. Um, and I will say that the you really need them to be in a frontal arc to get the value from war elephants for hitting multiple targets. So there's pros and cons to each commander there, but I also really like the damage bonus that comes from Hannibal Barca. Um, to do this, you also need to have a mixed army. Uh, Envelopment Tactics makes it so that you get 10% extra damage if you bring three troop types. So I will bring probably 5,000 infantry and 5,000 cavalry, and the rest are going to be archers because I want to get the maximum benefit I can from Art of Archery while still also getting that sweet 10% damage lift from Envelopment Tactics. Now, if I were using Yi Song Ye in, a, in an AoE army or with him as the primary, he happens to have the exact same skill tree as none other than Kusunoki. And let me show you the talents I would plan to use if I was making an archer army. I'm not right now, um, but this is what I would probably use, some variation of this. In fact, if I were taking them out today for a spin, I'd use Kusunoki like this, and then Yi Song Ye as the secondary. Um, some of these talents are maybe questionable um, off to the sides, depending on how many enemies you think are going to be hitting you, but 
I think they're generally pretty good. He does so much damage, you want to elevate that damage pretty substantially. Uh, the other thing that I think will be really good, and my longer-term plan with an archer army in the open field, is to pair with El Cid, and that is because El Cid affords just a tremendous amount of move speed. We tried to make our Cid, our El Cid, a movement speed-oriented El Cid by unlocking the third skill, and then and only then applying sculptures. So we we maxed the first, then we unlocked the third, and every single point went into Poem of Hell Cid. Darn it. I was trying to get them over here. I feel pretty darn good they still went here. Like, this is great. A thousand damage is great. Um, I just really want the march speed for the open field. Um, and so once we work on El Cid a little bit more, I'd really optimally like to max this skill before unlocking this one, probably. Um, then and only then, we will start using El Cid and Isong Ye to smash in the open field. I'm, I'm excited about that, but I really do think the Barca Ye combo is strong. Real strong. My friends, I hope you've enjoyed this video about expertising our friend Isong Ye. I'm excited about using this commander of, in Ark of Osiris, in KVK, and all the battles to come. This might be the most fun I've had with a commander in a very, very long time. Like and subscribe, and until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.